Hi, one of the biggest problems with real estate is figuring out where home prices are headed. Up, down, are they up strongly, up weekly? That's a big issue. We're gonna talk about a little trick here you can try to use to better forecast home prices in your area. Weiss Analytics has a thing where they look at the percentage of homes that are increasing in value versus those that are decreasing in value. And it's a way for them to forecast the strength of the upward movement in prices. Obviously, if a home prices are moving upward fast, that's a sign of strength. But this is a different sign of strength by looking at the percent of the homes that are increasing in value. I was really intrigued by that and wrote a post on it in Real Estate Decoded. But Weiss Analytics doesn't publish their data on percent increasing, so I couldn't really judge how good it is. Was it giving me a, a leading indicator of what was going to happen to prices? I needed a time series to see if it was predicting past changes in prices. So... I stumbled upon in Zillow, Zillow publishes tons of data, some raw data for what they call percent increasing in value. So it sounded like the Weiss Analytics thing and I pulled it down and it's very similar. So what Weiss does is they look at the value of every home that they look at and they make an estimate, estimated value for it, which is essentially what Zillow does. They have a Zestimate, an estimated value for most of the homes in the United States. So every month they can look at, oh, did the Zestimate go up or to go down? And then judge this. And in their value, they're looking at, is the Zestimate on this home higher than it was a year ago at this time? And then they compare how many of the homes have increased in value. So with that data, now I can look at it. And I looked at Zillow's data and charted it against Kay Schiller's data. So I took Zillow's percent of homes increasing in value metric and plotted it against the Case-Shiller index for the 20 cities that Case-Shiller follows. And here you can see it for San Francisco. And the dark line is the Zillow metric, the percent of homes increasing in value, and the light line is the Case-Shiller metric. So you can see, well, let's look at the, the biggest thing that happened in real estate prices in forever. You can see that, the, you know, it did kind of, it, it was falling, the, the percent of homes increasing in value was declining pretty rapidly. It was getting down below 66% here in June 06 before prices really started to fall. So it was a pretty good leading indicator. But on the other hand, you look back here and that it fell a lot in when during the, uh, the tech bubble bust. It can show you here, for example, the price was going up, but it was weakening. And it kind of shows that it leveled off here. And then the the index it was weakening, but for some reason, which I still not still don't have a full handle on, it started to increase a lot. And you see this in a lot of the 20 cities covered by Kay Schiller, that it went down rapidly until the end of 2014, and then went up rapidly after that. Don't know what happened there. Was it the change in FHA loans, uh, which caused a lot of other things? Was it a change in lending standards? But nevertheless, we got. Prices increasing again, and we got this percent of homes increasing in value increasing. So in San Francisco, it's about 90%. That is really, really strong increase in value. And you can also get a feel for this measure when it got up to like in the high 90s, how steep the increase was here in prices. So there's a pretty good correlation, as you would imagine, between the percent of homes increasing in value and actually what's happening to home prices. The biggest thing we want to find out, though, is it a good leading indicator? And it looks like it has some value, but it gives you a feel for how strong prices are going up in value. But uh, there's also a lot of movement that's kind of unexplainable here. So I think Zillow's metric, percent of homes increasing in value, is a really nice metric and adds additional information to make you more certain about your predictions and where prices are headed. So I'm going to check it out for a while, see what I think about it. And if you are a real estate numbers geek, they publish the data for not just those 20 metro areas that I'm, I'm showing on the graph, but a lot of other metro areas as well as for states and even down to zip code in some places. So if you're a numbers geek, you might want to check into that as well. Great. I'm John Wick with Real Estate Dakota. Hope you enjoyed this. And if you know what was going on with that decline in towards the end of 2014 and then the jump in 2015, I'm not sure really what's going on there. I'd love to hear your ideas on what happened there. Take care.